Hi Sagittarius, I'm Brenda and I'm here again today to bring you your weekly angel tarot card reading for the week of August the 17th to August the 24th. I want to thank you again Sagittarius for tuning in to my channel and for your loyal and and interest in my videos I bring out here every week. I want I am being so blessed with all the subscribers coming in, leaving me wonderful positive and confirming uh, remarks. And for all the clients coming in to me now that are trusting me to do their private readings. And I am truly, truly grateful, Sagittarius, and I thank you for this. <clears throat> Excuse me. We start our week with a wonderful card, Sagittarius, and look what you've been given. You have been given the lover's card. And the lover's card is all about uh, being in intimate relationships and making a decision in your life that is very, very profound and extremely important in your life. Communication, my friend, is key right now. And it's all about developing trust with that partner. <clears throat> it's a major decision that you're about to make in your life. So you need to have it balanced. You need to weigh your options. Um, and consider your choices carefully. Uh, there is definite, definite need for balance. And this card also refers to the return of good health for someone and marriage and weddings, of course. <clears throat> on Tuesday, Sagittarius, you've been given an air card, and this particular air card is the Ten of Air. And as I told you before, the air cards have to do with the communications part of our life, with uh, the justice part of our life, and perhaps with the legal issues in our life as well, dealing with attorneys and lawyers and things like that, signing of contracts and so on. Um, <clears throat> this particular Ten of Air talks about the end of a difficult situation that some of you have been faced with. And uh, it's also uh, a chance for you to embrace change in your life because of the end of this. And expect things to get better right now, uh, which is really good for some of you. But this is also the card of addiction, and it refers to the addiction and you going through recovery. So someone around you, you personally or whatever, and as I've said before, addictions can be anything. Eating addictions, uh, you know, uh, shopping addictions, gambling addictions. It isn't just substance addictions. It is the recovery of that, my friend. <clears throat> Excuse me. Wednesday, you have been given uh, a major card again. You had the lovers at the beginning of the week, and now you have the awakenings. And this is all about looking at things from a new perspective in your life right now. Okay? There may be a temporary standstill while you're going through this right now, this awakening, and it's important to be yourself no matter what. Uh, rethink your strategy because, my friend, the power lies within you dealing with this new awakening. <clears throat> On Thursday, you've been given a water card and you have been given the three of water. And you know I love the water cards. They are the romance relationship cards in our life, the love around us. This particular one says some of you are going to be celebrating an event like that, a wedding, a graduation, or perhaps a birth announcement or the birth of a new child. Um, and they say that you will be <clears throat> getting involved in this particular event by either getting involved in it and helping to plan it, uh, being a part of it, or perhaps just going to this event. But they say that you're going to have fun, and you need to have more fun, they say. <clears throat> Excuse me. Friday, you've been given a nurse card. This is a great card. This is the Ten of Earth, and as you know, the Earth cards have to do with our families, Mother Earth, uh, the material part of our lives, how we make a living, how we bring that abundance in our careers, our jobs, and our professions. This particular card says that for some of you, you are enjoying a very happy family life right now. And also, uh, some of you, or, or you, is, you are also uh, financially secure. So your life, your family life is happy, and your financial security is uh, is happy right now. Um, and But they say you can have all of that, but you still need to go back and realize you enjoy the little things in life as well. You've earned that right, my friend. On Saturday, Ace of Air, my friend. Again, that card comes up. Uh, but this particular card is a good one. It's the beginning of a situation coming into some of you right now. And it's coming in the form of brilliant ideas and inspirations that are coming into you. And you're going to see the truth in a situation now when it does. But it may bring with it, in the beginning, it may be a little bit challenging when these ideas come into you. On Sunday, my friend, the Four of fire. This particular four of fire tells me that some of you are contented and there's peace and abundance around you right now. You have a happy home life and a successful completion of a project for others. 
At the end of the week, I did tie in that one Oracle card, and I did choose the Ascended Masters again because I got some great positive feedback from you out there that you enjoyed this card. And the one they chose for you, the universe chose for you today, is Go Now. This is all about if, if you're looking for that job and you're wanting to change your position where you are, Go Now. If you're in a relationship you're not happy in anymore and it's not bringing you the love and fulfillment and perhaps it's one-sided, go now. If it's pursuing that hobby, if it's pursuing that craft that you do, that passion that you have, don't, for, don't step back. Move forward and go now. This go now card is giving you confirmation now that whatever you're wanting to do, do it. Go now. I hope that uh, this reading brought you some insight and some benefit into your week. Sagittarius, and I thank you again for tuning in. I leave you again with another quote. This particular quote is quite short, but it's to the point. No one has ever become poor by giving. Should you desire a private reading with me, my website is www.brendatarrell.info, and tarot is spelled T-A-R-O. Hope to see you soon, Sagittarius, for another great reading. And for all the new Sagittarius coming into me, I thank you for that. Feel free to go into my website, scope it out, learn a little bit about me, and by all means, read my bio, and you will, you will know what led me down this path. And also the services that I offer and uh, what you will receive uh, when you do uh, book with me. I thank you again. I wish you a great remainder to the day and a wonderful, optimistic week to look forward to. See you again next week and know that I continue to stand in the circle of light for you, my friend.